This is a 1977 Corvette. We're going to take it for a quick spin, show you around. Engine fires right up. Transmission shifts out nicely. Kick down works well. Power windows work well. Let's see if that helps any with the wind noise at all. These are the fastest power windows in a Corvette I've ever seen. These motors must be new. when I do a video I point out all the positives but this is a Corvette it's just got everything independent obviously independent front and rear suspension it's got the power windows that roll up roll down and up very easily windshield wipers work shut it off and show you around the car got a brand spanking new Sony CD MP3 player with the iPod connection and then the USB port um, and it's also got a brand new um, set of speakers in the back but they are not hooked up the wires um, the owner wasn't not 100% positive that he's gonna keep this stereo or something else so um, of course doors so he didn't hook up the wires so but this, I mean, we've still got the box for the CD player. This car just recently had a base coat, clear coat paint job. It is a really sharp 10 footer driver quality paint job. I mean, you can see in the camera that it's just super, super shiny. And this car looks really awesome. If you get right up on it, you're gonna find a couple of little flaws in it here and there. But, the guys call cars 20 footers you know and this is not even a 20 footer this is a 10 footer my buddy and I were standing in the shop earlier and I said how far do you think we're standing away from this thing right now and he goes not even more than 10 feet because this thing looks awesome so this is just a really really sharp cherry red Corvette engine detail has been done it looks really nice it's got the nice expensive high-rise valve covers. And air matching air cleaner. It's had a thorough tune-up. New plugs, new wires. I'll drop this back down. I do have the T-tops. They look great. Of course, they were painted at the same time as the car, and they match perfectly. But we are out cruising in it right now. Brand new tires. Goodyear Eagle GT2s all around except for one. Got a nail in one and just went and grabbed. They didn't have the Goodyear Eagle GT2, unfortunately, so they threw a Firehawk 500 on there, which is also a great tire. And most people at a glance wouldn't notice that they don't match. We usually don't stop and take time to read the tire, but you can see that the wheels just look awesome. Beauty rings look amazing. They have the original style rally wheels with the Chevrolet Motor Division center caps. There is not a spot of rust on this car, and some people laugh and go, well, of course there's not. It's a fiberglass car. Well, it's not all made out of fiberglass, and I have seen these things eaten up with the rust. <clears throat> but not this one. This car has 135 or 139,000 original miles on it. It's always been garage kept. And I don't think I've seen floor pans and rails, frame rails in a Corvette that look this clean. I mean, they just look amazing. And that is not because they've been, you know, sprayed and detailed out or anything. They've been kept clean. The bottom of the car was cleaned. You can see the lines on the car look awesome. Another problem that people have with Corvettes. Sorry, I'm a little jumping all around talking about different things here. Let me finish showing you the floor pans on the passenger side and then I'll jump to the other 
problem sometimes people have. And like I always like to point that out with Corvettes. Nice clean undercarriage. And as long as we're doing the underneath, I'll show you that. This is cool. It's still got the original spare tire keeper. And a lot of times those are missing. And this one's in fantastic shape. A lot of times too, they hit a speed bump or something and bust the bottom out. This one's in fantastic shit condition. So what I was saying a minute ago was a lot of times you guys who know Corvettes know that the problem is is that the paint spider webs, that the fiberglass cracks in spider webs, this one, we've been over this car from bumper to bumper and the paint's in fantastic condition. It doesn't have any spider webs, it doesn't have any, you know, bubbling or any imperfections. This is just a super cool driver. Somebody's going to really, really enjoy uh, run the speakers to the to the CD player, wire it up, and this thing's ready to hit the road. Last year of the flat glass in the back. Lights work. Vacuums need to be troubleshot as usual um, in this price range. I did take a picture of the lights with it up where you just popped them up. And I'm just doing one last walk around just so you can see. This car looks super cool. It's a beautiful driver that somebody's really going to enjoy. And it's ready to rock and roll.